morning, Arian. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. How are you doing, Arian? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm tired. And everyone, this is the home stretch. We have this week and next until the end of quad one. So we thought we'd motivate you because, you know, we're getting tired. We could use the extra push. So here's uh, your world within with another uh, video to motivate us. Tomorrow is the most dangerous word in your vocabulary. Because while it's a symbol for hope, it can just as easily be the reason that your dreams remain little images in your head. Tomorrow diminishes the significance of the air that you're breathing right now. It tells you that someday you can begin your journey and that you can just wait and make yourself comfortable until then. Tomorrow masks itself as an escape for those held down by fear, those resistant to change. It encourages you to be content where you are, stating that you have your whole life to get where you want to be. And for some, tomorrow lasts forever. It evolves into regret, into immobility, into an excuse to never really do what you were meant to do. Tomorrow can be worse than failing because often it implies that there was never a beginning. There was just a vision, just an idea being put off for a better time that never came. There will never be a moment in your life more precious than the one you're living in. Your heart beating in your chest, the air in your lungs, the blood in your veins, they're giving you an opportunity to make a change, to become who you want to become, to live, to inspire, to achieve. Because who really knows how many tomorrows you'll get? And the last thing you want is to look back on your life thousands of days from now and wish you had the courage to do what you wanted to do. To wish that you understood how fast tomorrow's come and go, and that all you will ever have is the present moment. Every journey starts with a step, that courageous act of moving forward, not knowing what tomorrow will bring, only knowing that you'll be further along then than you are now, that you'll be stronger, wiser, smarter, because you didn't wait for tomorrow, you didn't wait for anything. And that is the difference between I am and I wish I was. It is the difference between dreaming and truly living. And, and today is the Feast of All Saints Day, and they are uh, people we look to who didn't wait for it tomorrow, but continued and saw the value of today. What do you think of that video, Aria? Wasn't it powerful? Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, yeah a lot of the scenes kind of, <laughs> who had a camera in that moment? Um, but anyway, hopefully that inspires you to not wait for tomorrow, but take the gift of today and do what you need to do and be your authentic self. Everyone, we are now at the time for anthem. So if you're in the hallway, please stop walking. Please be still. And for those in, in your classes, please stand for our national anthem. Canada. Tony Swag, it's 
tes plus brillants exploits au Canada que Che Guanach na ni vida mi guache en danza na ni vida mi guache And let's remain standing and reverent for our land acknowledgement. As we begin our new week of learning and growing and living together, we do so on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe, Atawandaran, Haudenosaunee, and Métis peoples, with whom our Catholic social teachings call us to solidarity. We honor and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this traditional territory and call to mind our own responsibilities to be good stewards of God's creation. November begins with a double feast in remembrance of those who have died. The saints, the people whom God has uh, set his sights upon and smiled kindly upon and brought into heaven are remembered on November 1st, that's today, All Saints Day. Many of our own family members have died. They're also part of God's harvest. We pray for all of them on November 2nd, tomorrow, All Souls Day. During these days, we pray for all people who will one day share in the glory of the saints. And so I, I invite you to name any intentions you have in your heart. Maybe have a, a little conversation with the, the saint you have a relationship with. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Loving God, help us look at the example of the saints who have gone before us. May we reflect on their faith and be inspired by their courage and determination. When we feel weak, help us gain the strength we need from the example of the saints so we can respond to your call. And let us pray together the words that unites all Christians. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Our Lady of the Assumption, pray for us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And now for our news. Aria, take it away. Okay. Um, Shizm, for any student attending the Shizm trip on Wednesday, you need permission forms, and they need to be handed in today. Aria, take it away. Tomorrow at the latest. Alpine calling all ski and snow snowboard racers. The Alpine team will have their first info meeting on Wednesday, November 3rd. That's this Wednesday. In the piazza at 2.20 p.m. Important reminders. You must be an intermediate level skier or, or snowboarder to participate. As per current provincial regulations, all athletes who attend a ski resort must be double vaccinated to participate. See you at the info on Wednesday. I'm calling all singers. We need your help. We're looking for angelic voices to record a piece of music for a Remembrance Day service. If you're interested, please meet at the music room on Tuesday, November 2nd, tomorrow after school. And if you'd like to be part of the tech crew uh, to join, there's the QR code. Uh, see Mr. Galley in room 209 or Mr. Soster in room 12. Let me uh, remove that so you can have a good view of the QR code. All right. And continuing. So where are we? I'm calling all curlers. If you're interested in curling, please attend the compulsory meeting tomorrow. Uh, from 2.15 to 2.45 in room 116 with Coach Miss uh, Ponick. Ponick. See you then. Great job of applying to university. The university pins are in and located in the guidance office. If you're applying to college, the college website is open for applications. No pin is required. Uh, calling all students looking for a leadership opportunity. The drama department needs your help. 
If you're interested in helping, helping with a virtual workshop day for grade eight students, please see Ms. Agwan in room 204. Senior boys hockey, first tryout is tomorrow, Tuesday at Mainway Arena at 3.30 p.m. Players must have permission forms um, per, uh, signed, permission forms, signed concussion forms, a cash online receipt for the tryout fee, and a proof of double vaccination to get into the arena for the first tryout. All grade nine and tens are welcome. Please see Mr. Consoli in the phys ed office if you have any questions. Um, poinsettias, see? Is, I mean, poinsettias. Yeah, poinsettias sale. Um, are you ready for Christmas? Poinsettias go on sale today. Reserve yours through Cash Online. Uh, support our ambassador and Schism nonprofit groups to raise money. And for the info, go to goblugo.ca. And if you want to know who to talk to, Ms. Bedford, Ms. Persin Midgic, or Mrs. LaFerrier. And a reminder that the investment club meeting is today after school in the library. New members are always welcome. And I have photos to share with you because yesterday was the crusading for cans. And let me show you the wonderful work. Look at all those people. Uh, 9,747 food items were donated. 241 kids went door to door collecting them in the neighborhood. And that's not counting all the lovely people you see in the photo. Those are the ambassadors and Miss Bedford, Miss LaFerrier, and Miss Prison Midgic, who are there with the kids. Uh, this is the group that helped box all the donations. So kudos to all of you and kudos to the three staff. Uh, well done. Well done. And so that's everything for today, I believe. Uh, if not, catch us tomorrow. Have a great day, everyone. Happy Monday and good luck in this home stretch. You've got this. Take care, everyone.